everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are unbagging the Ipsy Studios Ipsy Glam Bag and the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Huge shout out to Ipsy, thank you so much for sending these to me. Um, I have really been loving my Ipsy bags and there have been some pretty incredible products. So I cannot wait to see what we got for the month of March. So let's go ahead and start with the Ipsy Glam Bag. So the theme for this one is Power Moves, super cute. Uh, and then of course it has a little round tab on there. So for our little insert card, it does say March 2022, hashtag Ipsy Power Moves. Who runs the world? You do. This month, swipe on your boldest lip and conquer every gold like a boss, whether it's sticking to a self-care routine or kickstarting the next big thing. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what we got in our bag. The first item I see is from Kinship. This is a Super Melt Vegan Lip Jelly Mask. I'm actually really excited about this because my lips have been so freaking dry, like bad. Um, and it just doesn't seem like anything I have that used to work is working, maybe because they're even more dry than they've ever been. So I'm really excited to give this a try and see if this will help out my poor lips. The next item we have is a lippy. Ooh, very pretty. This is from Elliman. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Moscow. It, it looks like a shade of red, which I actually have been really loving reds. <laughs> they don't scare me as much as they used to. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, that is a very bright, like a pinky red shade. That's gonna be really, really pretty for like the summertime with just like a some highlights, some mascara, and a bold red lip. Oh, I'm living for it. Okay, the next item we have is, what is this? This is from Ona, New York. It says it's a brightening cream. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has a little taxi cab on there. Um, and it says a lightweight eye cream featuring our signature ABC complex infused with peptides and vitamin E instantly brightens and reduces the appearance of dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. Great for all skin types, even sensitive skin. Um, that's actually very important because if it's, if you say all skin types, you really do need to include the sensitive skin because Oh man, my, my skin has become a little bit more sensitive as I get older and it just, it doesn't react very well to some things. So I like when I see, um, for all types, including sensitive skin, that I know that it's going to be safe for me to use. So this is what the packaging looks like here. Uh, I do have, um, a new one that I got. I think I got it in my FabFitFun. Um, so I'm going to hold off on this. I don't know if I'm going to get to it or if I'm just going to go ahead and put it in a giveaway. Uh, someone set that aside. But so the next item we have is from Sophia and Mabel. This is a Small and Mighty Extreme Volume Mascara. I absolutely love testing out mascaras. They are so much fun. Um, you know, it's always a bummer if you find one that doesn't work because you're like, oh, I really wanted that to work. But then you have ones that you find and that you fall in love with. Like when I tested out the um, the Kush Mascara, oh my gosh, that has quickly become my number one mascara. I, I love it so much. All I have is a little sample size and I, I really need to invest in a big one because I love it so much and I, I use that little sample like all the time. So happy that this is in here. I'll definitely get this a test out. And the last item we have is from Ciate London. Yes, I love this brand so much. This is their Dewy Highlight. So this is a glossy cheek glow. I have not tried a product like this from them, so this is actually super, super exciting. I do have a couple of their products. Um, I'd have to go through and find them. <laughs> I'm in the process of reorganizing everything and it's, it's, it's a hot mess right now. So, uh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Oh, wow. That is, is it supposed to be tinted? Glossy cheek glow. So is it a, it's a, not a highlight, it's a blush, right? Keep cheeks luminous with Ciate London's Dewy Highlight Glossy Cheek Glow. Okay, well... Okay, <laughs> now that I, I smoothed it out, I'm not as scared of it, but um, it's not really like in your face kind of glow. It's definitely more of like a subtle going to the zoo, uh, sun's going to be shining on my skin kind of glow. 
So this will definitely still get used. I think it's really pretty um, when I don't want that big bold highlight in your face uh, for events like that, then I definitely will use something like this. So still pretty cool. Okay, so a quick recap for this bag. We have the red matte lipstick, which is such a pretty shade. This reminds me of summer when I think of it. Um, and I just, ugh, I cannot wait to use this. Uh, we have the jelly mask, which I'm super excited for. We have the eye brightener, the mascara, and the dewy highlight from Seattle London. So all in all, this is actually a really nice glam bag. So let's go ahead and move on to the glam bag plus. All right, the first item we have is a multitasker four-in-one makeup brush from Alley Oop. <laughs> That's actually a really cute name. Now, I, I, I don't know if I've ever used a four-in-one type brush before. I have used like a dual-ended brush, and so sometimes those get a little annoying um, when I try to store them in my uh, little makeup brush holders because one end it usually ends up getting flat from the top, and I don't know. That's just me being... A baby but <laughs> uh, that's just how I store my brushes so this is interesting okay this is what the brush looks like it's loose okay all right there we go so this is <laughs> that's actually pretty cool so this is like a um, a sponge I like the shape of it um, this would be actually pretty good to get underneath the under eye so oh, I like that now this brush Wow, if there has ever been a soft brush, this is it. Let's see what else we got in here. So we got the little, like, angled uh, liner brush and, like, a, a blending brush. See, this, I don't know. Okay, so, <laughs> hold on. All right, I don't know if there's a certain way it's supposed to go. So... I guess I could put the top back on and then do like this. And then if I needed to switch, I could take the top off of this side if I wanted to use this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good idea. I think this would be fun for travel. I don't know necessarily if I would reach for it um, above, above like all my other brushes when I just see what I need and I grab it. It would be you know, oh, here, let me grab my 4-in-1 brush and take this off and put this together. I just don't think that's doable for me. Um, it just, it seems much more easier just to grab the brush that I need at that point in time rather than just taking it off and adjusting it and all this other stuff. But um, do I like the brushes? I think they're really soft. I think the sponge is really soft. Will I use it? I definitely will. I'm just going to have to, like, go the extra mile to use it, if that makes sense. So, ah, I've rambled enough. All right, moving on to the next item. Uh, this is from MOTD. This is a dab and tap makeup sponge. I totally believe one can never have too many sponges. So this is going to go in my little sponge case right away. <laughs> That's all I ever use for face products really is, is sponges. So I'm really excited that this is in here. The next item we have is from Saturday Skin. This is Rub-A-Dub Refining Peel Gel. That sounds interesting. Um, I haven't really used too many peels. I've, I've seen the peel masks or the peel like scrubbing pads. I haven't really seen like a peeling gel. So that's going to be really interesting to see how that works. And the last item we have is a palette. And I'm so excited because you guys know palettes are my number one favorite. So this is Defiance by Carmilla Cosmetics. I have not heard of them before, so this is super, super exciting. I do like the packaging on here, and I love that this is actually the same as the outer packaging. It just has like this boldness to it. Oh, oh my goodness. These colors are so pretty. Now this is more of a neutral palette, but the fact that it is a neutral palette and not something crazy colorful, means that everybody can use it. Don't don't mind my paper towels. <laughs> uh, I definitely will get use out of this. I think this color story is beautiful. I love that it has transition shades. I love that it has the brown and the black. You definitely could do a daytime look, a nighttime evening look with this. Um, so many possibilities. So I cannot wait to play in this bad boy. Let's go ahead and do 
like swatches of the shimmers. Oh, they're so pretty. I love it. Alright, so that first one seems to be a little bit more of like a topper because you can barely see it. But the other two colors are really, really pretty. Let's go ahead and do the brown and let's do this like pinky shade. Where's that brown? Oh, there it is. So there are the shades right there. Super pretty. Can't wait to play with it. And I love the color story in here. Okay, so a quick recap for our Glam Bag Plus. We got the palette, which I think is really, really pretty. Um, the shades in here are definitely everyday wearable shades, so I'm super happy for that. Uh, we got the Saturday Skin uh, Peeling Gel, which seems very interesting. We have the Makeup Sponge, which I always welcome makeup sponges uh, in my collection. Love that this is in here. And then we also got the 4-in-1 brush. Like I said, it's a little complicated to use um, when you're in a hurry because you have to take everything apart and just, it, it's that little extra step that kind of annoys me, I guess. The concept, uh, if it was a, just a dual ender brush, I think that'd be really cool, but the fact that you have to like twist and all this other stuff, it's just, it's a little much for me, uh, but I will still definitely put it to good use. Now, um, Ipsy Studios did send me a couple little goodies, so let me show you what I got. They sent me this little notepad. It says Power Moves on it. Um, I definitely will put this to good use. This is going straight by my computer. I love that. And then they also sent me a little uh, Ipsy pins, which, oh, thank you so much, because I definitely will be using these, uh, not just at my computer, but at work as well. Um, pins at my job are like gold. <laughs> Everybody fights on them and has to have them, and I will chase a customer down. Excuse me, can I have my pen back? <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, I'm. Is that weird that I'm excited over pens? So it's okay. It is what it is. But thank you, Ipsy, so much. Okay, um, so I just noticed that we actually have one, two, three. We have four items in the Ipsy Glam bag. Plus, and then this was also in the side. This is like a little face oil, so I'm assuming this was supposed to go in the glam bag. And if so, I'm get maybe the eye cream was supposed to be part of the glam bag plus, or the CLT London. I'm not really sure, but all in all, I still think the products were absolutely great this month. Alright guys, so that's it for this unbagging. If you guys receive Ipsy and you are interested in any of these products, which ones do you hope on getting in your bag? Let me know down in a comment below. So if you did like this video, please give me a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I would love to have you. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.